It's Fifi's 23rd! It's my birthday. Woo! Happy birthday to you. I'm going to be 21 and it's also my sister's birthday day and before, my stepdad's birthday. Same day. So it's my sister's birthday the day before mine and then on my birthday it's my birthday and my stepdad's birthday. So poor mum has three main birthdays three main and a big birthday. birthday. Yeah, and we're going Burley Horse Trail, so we're staying away in Going Burley. to a nice hotel around the corner from Burley House, and we're going to stay there, Thea Mitchell and me and Simon, and then we're going to get up on the Saturday and we're going to go shopping and cross country. Yeah. See all the main athletes, so we're really excited about that. That's like something that we're doing for my birthday in and between then, keeping yeah. me both fit and healthy then, then the week after no no no, no no not the week after oh not the week after the day we come back on the sunday and then on the tuesday we go on holiday for a week so we're away eight days seven nights so just over a week yeah uh we're going out to mallorca gonna... with 14 of us all the family so that's going to be crazy so we've got to sort out all the farm all the horses, all the cattle, the pig, the dog, We've got to sort out the Nebo goat. Because he's got to keep fit. So we come home on the Tuesday after, uh, late afternoon, quickly go to sleep, wake up really early on the Wednesday, come to the farm, quickly sort everything out. We're packing at the moment to get packed up because we leave Wednesday afternoon to go five days to Sunshine Tour. Yeah, exhausting. Absolutely exhausting. So it's actually, I keep laughing because I'm overwhelmed by it. I've got awnings in the back, tents. I don't think we've been, never been this busy. No, not at the moment. I want a hack. I want a hack with Nebo, Sophia and Lulu. Just gone round, well we didn't really go round the block. We went to go round the block and then we just kind of made it a little bit longer and went through the forest. But Nebo is going to be spending the night in tonight just because he's got training tomorrow and also willow is in so we're gonna stable him next to willow which is danny's stable so we've just brought his little teddy round because i don't know may, maybe it might smell of his stable <laughs> um so brought his little octopus round with treat balls with lots of little treats in there his dinner hey big bed big stable for a special boy so now, just grabbed him. Come, Nibs. Take him into stable. He's in. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Got a dirty nose. Let me give you your feed that you've chucked out the door. At least you've eaten it all. Love it back. Do you want it back? Look at that nose. Hey Willow. You've got all um, apple slices on your nose because she's on a pain here. So apple slices and apple juice is the only way for her to be eating it, isn't it? This is this is picky. But honestly, anyone with fussy eaters that they need to feed a painkiller to really, really recommend the apple slices and apple juice together. Honestly, godsend. I'll show you what I mean. So what Abby's got. So just normal apple juice with... See these apple chunks? That's what you need. Because you need something sweet for it to be mixed into. So, go give that a try if you can't get your horse to take any medicine. Hey, Willow, because you like it. 
Nebo is creeping on his door. He's creeping on his door. Hey. So I'm just grabbing Nebo's tack because we have got a coaching lesson with Harriet Garrett because I want a free lesson on Facebook. And so give go give her a like on Harriet Garrett coaching because I won a free lesson when her page got to 50 likes. So I entered it and me and Nebo won and we chose show jumping as our lesson. So it's about a 45 minute drive. So we've got to leave, we've got, it's at 12. So we're going to leave at 11. Then I'm going to grab my tack and you come along with me. <laughs> Ignore the shorts because it is absolutely <laughs> boiling outside. And I will put leggings on in the car when I'm on the way there. It's <laughs> when you sweating. need to. It was like the last other few days, it's been like rain, freezing. And now it's only just become summer, so. Yeah. So take the dressage pad off because we're not doing dressage. <laughs> we are gonna. What shadow pad should I wear? Um, I like your green one. Your hunter green. Is there a nice colour for a lesson? This Different one? from the white. Yeah. Because competition, your what? Your competition colour is white. So. Okay, we're going hunter green, and um. So Nebo's jelly saddle girth, and then he's. Oh, the only no, the only thing I was thinking, I was gonna wear blue because when I've got this blue t-shirt on, blue jockers, blue breastplate, I was gonna wear blue numna. Yeah. Right, so okay. So we're gonna go with the. How would you say that? Ah, uh, armor. Uh, armor. Armor. To a pro. God, that's. Saddle pad, <laughs> blue. And with a bit of a blue theme. Saddle pad, blue stirrups, kind of vibe, blue polo top. We'll tell you about that. It's very exciting. <laughs> and so we're just gonna take this all round. But I need to buy new boots. Well, for every day really, because I keep using my show ones and then they're getting very dirty. Yeah. Them. So Nebo was in last night, as you could see, he was in Danny's stable. So I've just popped him out on the field, just to have a little bit of grass before he goes. Hello, Jack Attack. Hey, Grumpy Man. Little honey bobs. Hello. They eat through so much hay, honestly. The sun is a little bit annoying, but it'll do. It'll do. Is it just me or is like the flies this year are like really angry? <laughs> My boots, put them on. In the car. Right. The saddle. Boots. I just put it in there, it's there. So we've got bridle, breastplate, boots, his boots, my saddle, numna, the jelly. I think that's it really. Right. Let's go. Come, Come noobs. <laughs> got these dapples coming through. <laughs> Come on, nibbles. Celebrity, <laughs> just clip it on anywhere. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah up here. Oh. oh no, I'm ruining all the kit. <laughs> I will get it on eventually. I just can't see what I'm doing. Right, is that okay? Yeah. I'm Harriet. I've jumped abroad. I moved away for a year and a half training in Southampton. That's what I want to do is a dream. Just keep working, and I love 
teaching. I love seeing the differences. I love seeing people walk away from the lesson, knowing new things, excited. That's it, really. And have you got your good? own two horses? I've got two horses. One is on a bit of a break at the moment, but the other ones, we're out competing 130, so it's great, fun. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just let him have a walk around. My plan today was to kind of work on a bit of riding, rider straightness. So getting you straight in your shoulders, hands level, because then hopefully that will help with you with your like landing correctly. Because if you're already a bit bent, I think we'll get you jumping straight, nice over the jumps, and then hopefully naturally we'll incorporate the changes in. Trot and canter as you please whenever you're ready. Apologise for our little audience over there. <laughs> Good. Now just try and lift your hands as you as you're trotting and cantering, lifting your hands so he's more in your hand and forward. Okay. So what I want to do now is in the canter just to on the long sides push forward and just get a bit of a longer stride because yeah. that will help you with your rhythm yeah no that's fine so what, what i want you to do is just wrap your leg around him deal heels down and push him forward yeah and you want to get like an instant reaction forward and then you can ease off try and get that instant shoot forward yeah so that's it and then back to trot and change the rain good so can you feel the difference in that canter on the long sides? So that's the kind of canter you want when you're jumping. You want him forward, listening and active, yeah? yeah? So on the short sides, it's kind of, you might be able to get away with going over jump, but you wouldn't quite have the impulsion, yeah? All right, so what we'll do first, if we'll, we'll just come over this pole, and I just want to see, just ride it. Imagine like the pole's not there and you're just coming down the diagonal, okay? You just, I always think the pole's in my way and I'm just cantering down. If you try and do too much, you're interfering with the rhythm, yeah? So just off the right rein. Good. Once more. So looking at me. Good, good. Much better. Once more. As you leave the corner, put your outside leg on to stop him drifting this way, okay? So outside leg. Yeah. Good. Did you notice how he landed on the correct lead to turn that way as well? Yeah. Let's jump a little jump, shall we? If you're ready. So what I want you to try and do... As you're jumping this fence, be looking at something in the distance that you can focus on. And don't make your turn before you've reached the track, okay? So land and think straight. Good. Once more. And what I want you to do is get that jumping canter that we practiced in the middle, yeah? Because you just out of impulsion so now be pushing him forward like we did before that's it one two three four so much better okay one of my tips as well if i'm ever struggling what i think is right if i'm not meeting this jump on a good shot how, how can i change it so my two things are rhythm have i got enough canter or have i got too much or the route i'm taking so i've either got a Take a smaller route, which we can't do there because we've got to come around that jump. So the next thing, more canter. Yeah. So they're the two kind of things that you can think about 
if things aren't quite going to plan, yeah? Let's put that up to a little vertical. Let's do the same. So again, that canter, and when you're happy with it, good. And now change the rein and we'll come down that vertical, okay? Now it's really important on this long side you get your canter, okay? And then as you're making your turn, outside leg to support that canter, okay? That's it, now settle. So outside leg. Yeah, really good. And trot, that's it. Right, now we'll put some jumps together, okay? If we, I'll talk you through the distances. This is a four strides, pony four strides, and that will be a five strides on the outside, okay? So what I want you to do, we'll start with this little distance and be counting. So land, one, two, three, four, five. And you, if you know how many strides you've got in, it helps you stay in your rhythm and see that stride, okay? So we'll start with this distance. If you land and you're counting and you see that there's going to be six, make that decision to steady on six, okay? Because on a bending line, if you go too far out or too far in, it changes the amount of strides. So you've got to make the decision as a rider, depending on how you land, okay? If you're in that good jumping canter, you should get the five, okay? Outside leg, good. Good, and come again. On landing, I want you to outside leg to get him back on track a bit quicker, okay? Good. Good. How many did you get? I have no idea. <laughs> That's all right. I'll, next time I'll count out loud to help you hear it. But I do think it's something that's really important if you can like slowly implement it. Because then in your courses it helps you see that stride. I'll count out loud for you. Good canter, really good. One, two, three, four. Good. And once more. Good. Now you've got the canter, you can settle, okay? The idea is we don't have to chase him. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Good. Really good. Okay, let's put them all together. He's landing on the correct lead. So it's not much I can help you with there, but maybe it was a straightness to warm up with. Let's go up the pink, four strides to the oxer, down this purple double at oxer, and then I want you to go right-handed up this six strides distance for you, okay? But what you've got to be thinking here this is going to test you a little bit with landing on the correct lead so what I want you to do is just look to the right as you take off and just open this hand the right hand okay I don't want you to drop it or throw it or just open it controlled just to encourage that right hand lead okay does that make sense So just do a circle and get that canter back. Good. Now try and keep that throughout the whole course, okay? Good, really good. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three, four. Well done. Now nice and straight on the approach here. One, two, three, four. Good. Outside leg. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, come again. So again, think canter. And I want you to tell me when you're happy with your canter. Good. Now keep it. One, two, three. Good. So now think in straightness for this jump, okay? Looking around the corner. Yeah. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, give him a pat. Okay, so even though we didn't land on the correct lead there, you used your corner so much better that it gave you time and then you met the next jump at a better shot. Right, we just let him walk around for a second. Then we'll put them up and then jump it one last time. Happy with that? So what you want to be thinking, which is really handy because we've been doing this, but if you're in a small arena, you want to be thinking land, stay straight for at least three strides. You want to really use every inch of the arena. And then when you're coming out of a turn, because the turns in small arenas come up quick, outside leg is your best friend because it will just help support them, keep the canter, because it's easy to drop out of your canter because you just want to say, whoa, steady, I need more room, I need more time. but then you lose your jumping canter. So it's outside leg and straightness. It's your best friend. Okay, I'm going to change it up a bit just so we have a bit of a different course to jump. We'll go down. I've got to change all the fillers around now. Down this five stride distance. So we're making five now. So be positive. Forward on the five. Left up this oxa, and then we're going to come down the pole, change the leg, and up the distance, okay? Even uh, treat the pole as a bit of a jump, so still staying straight, using your arena. Again, tell me when you're happy with it. Because, good. Outside leg. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Good use of the arena. One, two, three. Well done. So now looking for your pole. And again, as you're going over this pole, open your left hand to encourage that lead. Good. Canter around the corner. One, two, three, four. Good. Give him a pat. That was really good, yeah? And I really saw you open that hand and he took a really good lead, yeah? Really good. It's, it's a tricky one, that one, because you don't want to get too like that. But just keeping your hands level and opening it. Yeah, so you don't want to drop up, just open it. But this is really good and also how quickly... You took on what I was telling you. So as soon as I said more canter, I can see you going forward. I was really good. So I've just got back from my lesson with Harriet Garrett and I had a really good lesson. I learned a lot of tips and Levi jumped absolutely amazing. I've just got to learn to keep that forward going canter and even if it takes me rising out of my seat just keep it keep it going until like, I feel like I've got enough canter just so I can sit up and really ride him and also I learned with if I want him to kind of be guided for to land on the right leg just keep my hands up and open him my left arm or if I want to go on my left rein or my right hand out just to go on my right but no yeah learned a lot of good tips and she was a really nice, easy instructor. So go give her a follow on Facebook. I will put her little profile link below. But yeah, really good lesson. And I am actually rebooked in for another lesson with Harriet. So yeah, all good. So I'm just gonna show you the pony speeds and I'm just gonna make them up right now. So let's move this out of the way. <laughs> right, let's get 
these up. I'm just going to show you what Nebo has because we've had a little turnaround with his feed. So Nebo was recently we've just been noticing he's not been himself and he's just been a little bit lethargic and a bit tired and even in the warm up room ready to go in he's just like oh i can't be bothered it was literally like he's had about 20 calming cookies so we thought what could this be ha what's happening with him really and we've realized that he's been going out on the track with my laminetic pony jack and obviously the track's short and he's not getting the nutrients that he needs to be fit and healthy and have the energy to go into the jump room so we've decided to put him out on the big grass for now so he's getting the nutrients he needs and also he's out at night which everyone knows if you put your horse out at night they're going to be lazy so stupid me completely forgot that so he's been now coming in at night if he's like the week he's going for a show or anything like that and we've also changed his feed around so i'm going to run you through what nebo has so before we were only giving him like a handful of chaff and it just wasn't enough for him because it's like feeding an athlete a bit of lettuce they're not gonna have much energy they need quite a lot of feeding so let's run you through it right so we're feeding nebo the denji alpha a um oil chaff so this is this is this big red bag, so it's just the Denji Alpha A chart. So he gets two full scoops of Alpha A chart. What am I <laughs> Of Alpha A chart. In each. And then for his mix, we've moved him on to the Bailey's competition mix. So that is in here. And he would just get a full scoop of competition mix. And also if it's like four days before you're going to a competition and you just want that extra little kick, you can give them a heap scoop. It just matters what works for your horse or pony. So nearby is just on a scoop competition mix also. As you all might have seen that I'm wearing this really gorgeous polo top that I'm kindly really grateful for becoming an ambassador for Summer Hill Supplements. So really excited about that. I was looking for a supplement for Nebo for as he's 17 now. I just need a supplement for his joints and I looked on the Summer Hill Supplements and kindly reached out to them and they wanted to make me a brand ambassador but I already really was interested in their brand because they're all tailored for your horse and pony's needs where you can choose hormone supplements joint supplements coat shine supplements and can also reach out to sarah which is really helpful and if there's anything not on the website you can just ask her and she can put them all into one supplement tub so you haven't got to go through each supplement and worry about oh even if someone else is feeding your horse if if they're going to get all the supplements right it's literally especially easier for kids also that it's all in one tub so that's really handy as well so i'm so excited to use this joint supplement and hopefully see some amazing results <laughs> 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 